Good evening, I'm Enari Darklor and welcome to Churiqua. Tonight, in our 13th episode, we will listen the following story based on the legend of the Flying Dutchman from the Netherlands. Believe it or not, I have always been curious about pirates, ships, and all kinds of stories that involve adventures and life inside ships. I was born in Rotterdam, but due to my parents' job, I had to live in Cape Town in South Africa for many years of my childhood and adolescence. Something I was fascinated about, and until nowadays, is how sailors had been victims. If you want to refer to it like that, by Cape of Good Hope, among its legends, and the most famous, the Flying Dutchman. Surely, you have already listened about a captain whose ship sailed to high speed and many people believe he had done a deal with the devil. Nevertheless, one stormy night, while they were sailing through Cape of Good Hope, a storm was so strong that he asked to tie him to the rudder of his ship, challenging God to sink his ship. This point is where the versions differ. In one, it is said that his irreverence and mocking at God, who punished him, cursing him for challenging him, and due to his mistreat to his crew, and others that just facing the God of the sea's rage. By the way, he was condemned to wandering through the sea without being able to go to shore at ports. When I listened to this story, I became fascinated and I love it. After all, he was Dutch, such as me, and he had sailed from where I used to live. Something made me dream on being a pirate. I started researching in order to know more about the story of piracy since I remember. This was when I had recently returned to Rotterdam. In my first night in my hometown, something I lived so vivid and so real. I dreamt about sailing in a ship. I was the captain. I boosted myself from being the best and the, the one with the highest speed without mothering hearsays. I was Captain Bernard Fogg. My crew obeyed me in all my requests and tasks. We were sailing from Java to Rotterdam. Sea shows itself calm and helping us to move on until one day a great storm appeared. The sky became darker and darker. Thunders made the skies roar and the waves of the sea were trembling on its rod. I was tied to the rudder and shouted, Oh God, I never fallen as your prey on these territories of the sea unless in this moment would I do. The storm was becoming worse. The sails were breaking, bollards were cracking, and I knew something else were going to happen, so I said, that's fine. I'm able to do a deal with the devil, if that helps us to get off lightly from the storm. That's it, or I'm not Captain Fogg. Little later, I listened to a <laughs> And a deep voice was here saying, That's a deal. 
The storm started easing, little by little. After this, the crew saw me differently, such as were afraid of me. I continued on my job, and I saw how we were arriving to our destiny. Nevertheless, we couldn't go ashore. We were at a couple of hours to arrive, but we couldn't arrive. The crew became despair. I threatened them and shouted to get calm, but it was useless. The hours passed, and it was already a new day when some men lay down dead in the ship and some others jumped on the sea. I saw by my own how they drew and how their faces full of fear and despair through their destiny, blaming me of all. I took the rudder again and the ship didn't respond to the request of going ashore, but did it to the request of get away. I ended up going to a new destiny alone in my ship. I took my gun and in the open seas I asked to be forgiven for what happened. My surprise was enormous at the time. I woke up, saw my hands as a corpse. I continued on my ship, sailing in that eternal voyage with the rudder on my hands, and I just saw the ships getting away from me. I saw mainland, and I couldn't get closer until a storm reached me and made me fall to the sea. I saw myself falling down slowly to the time I lost the consciousness. I woke up and I found myself in my bed in Rotterdam with a pirate's book in my hands with a ticket from a shop as a bookmark. Just at Bernard Fork's story. I have to confess that night I couldn't sleep again due to all my efforts. I started drawing and when the town took its way through darkness, I couldn't avoid looking at the horizon and the sea with that magnificent scent and magic such as calling me to go to it. I went out from my room without doing any kind of noise. I went to the attic and went to the roof. From there I could see a very ancient ship floating and flying upside down among clouds. Then it disappeared and the sky overcast it. I don't know what happened, and do do I know what I saw? Even nowadays, I never dream of that again. From time to time, when at dawn, I see a ship sailing on the skies, and after that, there is always a storm coming up.